Boris Johnson has been told he should scrap the BBC license fee completely to keep the support of millions of voters at the next election. During the election 2019 election campaign, the Conservative leader said prosecution for the non-payment of the license fee was heavy-handed and he was looking at the possibility of decriminalizing. In February this year a consultation was announced on the proposal. A decision on the matter had been expected this autumn, but is thought to have been delayed until the new year due to the coronavirus pandemic. And while the BBC's current funding model is protected until 2027, there are calls for the Prime Minister to commit to getting rid of the license fee altogether. With streaming services like Netflix and Amazon Prime now available the license fee model has been described as outdated. Pressure group Defund the BBC has said scrapping the model would be a vote winner in Red Wall constituencies won by the Tories for the first time in 2019. Campaign director Rebecca Ryan told Express, the people who support defund the BBC and scrapping the license fee are very much the voters who have given the Conservatives an 80-seat majority. The £157.50 and pence a year license fee must currently be paid by anyone who accesses BBC programmes on TV or iPlayer. Failure to pay can result in a hefty fine or even a prison sentence. Ms. Ryan said a failure to follow through on the decriminalization of the license fee would go down badly among those looking for longer-term change in the funding model. She said, voters can say, look, if you don't deliver on what we believed you committed at the election, then we won't give you our support next time. I think the Conservative government will have to bear that in mind. The Conservatives stormed to victory at the last election after winning seats in the north of England traditionally won by the Labour Party. In many places, they elected a Tory MP for the first time. However, their voters are said to be borrowed with no guarantee they will vote Conservative next time round unless Mr Johnson impresses them over the course of the current parliament. Ms Ryan warned voters were currently unable to tell whether the government was serious on the issue of decriminalization as it keeps giving mixed messages. At the moment I think it is very hard to tell if they're going to seriously think about it. There are briefings it's going to happen and then briefings it's not going to happen, but it hasn't happened so far. There's not a huge amount of faith that it will.